Last time on Overland Vagabond, we were back on the road crossing Greece from west to east. Despite our quick pace, we enjoyed some of the most pristine hillside and coastal landscapes and some hidden cultural and historical gems. In this episode, we drive into Turkey, spend a couple of days in Istanbul, then mark the important milestone of our first continental crossing. We dock on to Asia, experience the cultural shift, and gently drive south along the Asian coast. We chose a rather small boat crossing in the northwest corner of the Marmara region and in hindsight the only real worry was whether our vehicle of almost 3.8 m would clear the carports. A hop away we entered the city of Edirne. The contrast from the Greek Orthodox roots to the Turkish Islamic culture couldn't be more impressive. The Selimiye Mosque was built in the end of the 16th century by imperial architect Mimar Sinan and regarded today as his masterpiece. Istanbul was the perfect city to enjoy a couple of days as normal tourists. Rich of history, intense traditions, multiple culture and vibrant atmosphere, one can only remain fascinated. This traditional salt crust baked lamb was a delicacy, like many of the newer dishes derived from the fusion cuisine. The Karakoy area facing the Bosphorus is a model example. Born from ruins, it is being renovated with modern Western cafes and also unconventional graffiti art. Unavoidably, transformation comes at a cost. The day did come. Early morning we left Istanbul, fall of the road signs and suddenly we were aboard of a ferry to cross the Bosphorus. While we admired the metropole from the Straits waters, we said goodbye to a continent that our vehicle will not drive across for years. Along the Marmara coast there are several ancient settlements like Troy, Alexandria, Marpessos or Thrace, all with their own fascinating history. Essos is a site we've particularly admired, starting with exploring the gorgeous seaside village full of character and beauty. Ancient Assos was home to Aristotle, engaged by King Hermias to set up a philosopher's academy. When the Persians attacked Assos, 
Aristotle fled to Macedonia to join King Philip II. You remember the site we visited in episode 4? The views over the Aegean shores were spectacular, the ruins still in a pristine state, and we were almost the only visitors that day. Our journey along the coast was simply lovely, exploring the typical local villages and setting up our night camp in a garden of olive trees, and with the present of a few scratches on the vehicle's side. Pergama lies at the foot of another important ancient settlement. Pergamon was a rich and powerful ancient Greek city, capital of the Kingdom of Pergamon under the Attali dynasty in the 2nd and 3rd century BC. During the Roman period, the city was the first capital of the Asian province, but it eventually lost the status to local rival Ephesus. Many remains of its impressive monuments can still be seen and especially the outstanding masterpiece of the Pergamon altar. To be frank, we couldn't find any documentation on Suits Bailey and we don't even know whether this is a proper sanctuary or just ordinary salt pans, fish farms or whatsoever. For sure, wildlife loves it. Birds and the like can be spotted in abundance and with little patience you can capture some stunning footage. Overlanding is also about finding ideal spots where to spend the night. Sometimes it's a real struggle and challenge, sometimes you get lucky, like here south of Chesme. Total relax, peacefulness and immersed in seaside nature. Our next destination was Ephesus, another important ancient Greek city. It was built in the 10th century BC by Attic and Ionian Greek colonists and flourished after it came under the control of the Roman Republic in 129 BC. Ephesus was famed for the nearby temple of Artemis, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Among many other monumental buildings are the Library of Celsus, many temples and the theatre capable of holding 25,000 spectators. The visits to ancient sites were never boring or monotonous. Turkey has given us so far plenty of opportunities to fill our days with various sets of impressions 
and we were truly spoiled by this overgliding lifestyle. Our journey will now continue deeper into the ancient's heritage, but that's a story for the next time.